Greetings RC fans, Moodog from Moodog's Frugal RC's outside today doing a rig rundown on a brand new one from High Boxing. This is the Ratchet or the model 18856. It's four wheel drive, 118 scale, ready to run kit. Everything is included in this kit guys. All you would have to do is supply two AA batteries for the included transmitter. All the specs for the vehicle are going to be on the left hand side of the box here. And then we have our battery uh, spec at 7.4 volt, 650 milliamp per hour, the lithium ion cell. High boxing is using a lot of lithium ion uh, technology in their uh, cars for powering them. I think there's a good reason for that. Uh, more stable, a little bit safer for transport. All around just a safer type of battery, I believe is the reason for that. Uh, 118 scale, if I haven't mentioned that already. Uh, this one is splash proof at IPX5. Side of the box here, we can see another one of the uh, vehicles that share the same chassis platform. This is the Hailstorm uh, on this side here. We can see another one called the Gallop. Uh, just different designs on these guys. Again, IPX5, so pretty cool on that. Here we see all of the vehicles that are included with the same chassis, just different body styles. Very popular Rampage. I have this truck, it's featured on my channel. I'll post a link for that video if you guys wanna check that one out. But the one we're dealing with today, guys, is going to be the Ratchet, and we'll take a look at that right now. All right, guys, first thing we're going to find inside the package is the owner's manual. Half-size manual on this one, guys. We have nice, glossy, heavy stock. Uh, High Boxing has been very good with their manuals as far as English uh, translation goes, Chinese to English. Uh, always very good. Uh, Ready-to-run unit here, four-wheel drive, 2.4 gigahertz on the radio system, qualified spring shocks. Basically, what we're looking at here is friction-damped shocks, no oil filled. Uh, 30 kilometers per hour for the maximum speed on this. That remains to be tested. Ball bearings throughout. We have a 390 size motor. I'm sorry, 380 size motor on this one. It's gonna be a brushed motor. Uh, splash proof electronics. Again, IPX5 on this one. Uh, all the technical uh, data here for uh, the length and the specs and size of the vehicle uh, are gonna be right there. Uh, everything to get your vehicle uh, from box to dirt or box to uh, pavement is going to be inside the pages of this manual. A couple addendums here, a couple little extra uh, things that uh, High Boxing sends along. Kind of a thank you card here for purchasing their products. How to contact them if you're having any issues and how to leave a review on Amazon if you choose to do so. And they got right here a little kind of uh, artwork of one of their buggies everywhere off-road vehicles. Kind of cool. I like that. We also have a little addendum here to the uh, manual. This is just basically giving you some information on the new power switches that they've installed on these vehicles. Kind of made them more uh, impervious to, I don't want to say completely impervious, but a little bit more resistant, I think is the better word to uh, moisture and grit uh, and they're showing you basically how to operate that and giving you some information on the uh, heat sink and not just twist it or, or bend it into the uh, drive shaft. So basic, just kind of basic uh, common sense stuff there, but nice to have that in writing. High Boxing is pretty uh, good at uh, supplying us with uh, decals for the vehicle. There are no decals installed on this vehicle yet, and I'll show you that in just a second. But you can see that we have a pretty good array of different decals that we can stick on the vehicle, and I'll show you that uh, in a moment or two. So nice to see that. Then back to the manual real quick. Obviously, uh, we've gone through these before from HBX, but uh, this one's really nicely done as well. So you have color photos on here. The font is very clear, nothing smudged or ugly looking. Um, all the information on the functionality of the transmitter. Uh, we have some interesting artwork on here as well. Um, kind of shows um, some of the maintenance of the vehicle, how to get it to steer, which direction you want to go, um, how to use the dual speeds on here. And we'll get into that a little bit more 
uh, when I do the bash video on this particular vehicle. Uh, shows you how to charge the battery pack, maintenance of the vehicle, troubleshooting. Uh, towards the back here we have our full color parts grid with all corresponding part numbers. Very nicely done. Uh, and then the back is just some more basic information on this. This one is rated for ages 14 plus. Uh, so if you're planning on giving this to a, a younger child, use your discretion. That brings us to the vehicle next. Let's get this unpacked. All right, guys, our goodie bags are going to include uh, our charger. This is going to be a USB to uh, balance plug. Uh, this one is going to be rated at 5 volts, 2 amps input, and then the output on this 7.4 volts up to 1,000 milliamps. So we're looking at probably about an hour and a half uh, to two hours or so to charge the battery uh, from fully spent. We can see inside this package here we also have a set of four spare uh, body pins. Kind of nice to see that. Set that aside for now. We're also getting a fin for this car or a spoiler, uh, so to speak. Uh, this one is going to have uh, all the hardware that we need to install it onto the vehicle uh, in the back. So we have the spoiler itself. They give you a little instruction sheet here on how to attach that. Pretty simple, pretty easy to do, but they do include the instructions in case you're not sure. They also included a uh, small Phillips screwdriver, which I have about 467 of, uh, 468. Uh, and then the hardware for two small uh, screws here to install that on the vehicle itself. So nice that they included that little fin there and uh, you have a little bit of work to do installing it. Nothing too earth shatteringly difficult. Two screws. Uh, most of us can probably figure that out without looking at any instructions. I want to apologize right now to you guys for the wind noise. It's got pretty windy out here all of a sudden and I don't have a wind sock over my microphone at this point so I apologize for that in advance or actually a little late. Uh, transmitter for uh, this vehicle is going to be pretty standard for HBX. Uh, most of their 118 scale vehicles come with this uh, transmitter as standard. Uh, this one is uh, very nice. The only qualm I ever had with these is they don't stand on their own. Uh, so for storage purposes, this has to be laid flat or uh, stored strategically uh, at your discretion. So this one is going to have a nice feeling steering wheel, right hand side steering on this one. You have a slow and normal uh, speed selector on here. Uh, basically the slow is going to be for more the beginner, beginning type driver or the child that's learning how to drive uh, and uh, kind of brings the power uh, down about 50% uh, to what it normally would be. Then you have that toggle to toggle to normal and this will travel at full speed. Steering reverse up on top here, steering trim uh, knob right here on and off switch. This one is going to require two AA batteries which are inserted into the pistol grip on the bottom and then up on the front here guys you can see this antenna or this fake antenna there is an LED housed in there uh, as an indicator for power and also for bind. So nice, nicely done on those guys they're always uh, really decent. Um, we have a couple of uh, little cards attached to the car here. Uh, it's telling you to rip off this film before you go and apply your decals. Otherwise, you basically just wasted decals. So you want to make sure you do that before you're uh, installing decals. Uh, fully charge the batteries, that type of information. Uh, improved power switch, kind of giving you an inf information on that. And to be careful uh, with the motor surface because it does get hot. So basically we're looking at uh, two uh, body pins here, but before we take uh, the roll cage and, and slide it back, uh, let's have a, a closer look at the vehicle itself. Uh, we can see a really cool uh, graphic design on here. Uh, orange is going to be the main theme. Uh, and we have two drivers on the inside here, one empty seat in the back, and then this side is open uh, with the motor. And I do not see a heat sink on this motor. I'm kind of puzzled on that one. Uh, but we can see on this vehicle, we have uh, tires that are attached or wheels that are attached via Phillips screws. Uh, these tires are medium soft compound and they are foam filled uh, so they feel really nice. They feel like they are going to be long wearing. Um, I'm liking that a lot. Let's get these zip ties off here as well. 
Uh, underneath the vehicle we can see a, a tub style chassis. Uh, all the uh, screws on here for service are going to be uh, Phillips head. Uh, we can see that we have plastic uh, A-arms. Uh, we have plastic CVDs both front and rear along with nylon outdrive cups on the differentials front and rear. Uh, now there are upgrades that can be made to this to get metal parts for the, I believe you can get metal uh, outdrive cups for your um, for your differentials and possibly inner gears I'm guessing as well can be had in metal as well now the gears on the inside of here I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just do a guess out there that they're probably made of nylon but again you should be able to upgrade those uh, should you need to or want to going forward um, everything on here very sturdily built nice feeling polymer plastic here I got a very solid feel about it all high boxing vehicles are made uh, very very nicely uh, and they become uh, my personal favorite uh, for entry-level hobby grade vehicles I think high boxing has the uh, they, give, they get the nod from me and my channel anyway uh, shocks again on here are going to be friction there are no oil dampers in these whatsoever we have two light cans in the front here that you can install your own LED lights into let's go ahead and get this opened up here and we'll take a look at the inner workings of the vehicle Essentially, all you would need to do is remove those two body pins and this whole uh, shoot and match kind of uh, flips open so you can see the inside here. Now we have our 380 size motor here. We have a combination ESC and receiver right here. There is a power port on here. There's a tap for uh, your lights so you can run a light kit up to the front here and install lights in those uh, open holes on the cans in front. Uh, we have adjustability on this uh, steering arm here. It looks like there is a uh, hex uh, in the center here so you can expand that should you need to for whatever reason I don't think there's really much reason to do that but you can uh, the motor is kind of modular on here as well guys uh, actually this is the power button never mind so the power button is um, attached via this plug right here then runs around the back and sits right on top or actually underneath where the um, fit would be installed uh, this is running on red JST plugs nice to see that no proprietary or weird looking uh, connectors on there so batteries will be readily available for this you can upgrade this to lipo pretty easily uh, I would say probably at 800 milliamp per hour uh, 2s lipo would work, fit fine in here uh, the way that this gets installed on here and I'll show you how these batteries get installed in a second but we have our mini servo up in front here guys with a servo saver up in front and we have a nice linkage on here guys not too busy gets the point across um, high boxing steering is always been real real responsive on any other car that I own by them we can go ahead and remove our body pin in the back here and we can see how this hinge is shut basically there's just a little cover on here and that opens up uh, what's nice about this two guys if we have a thicker battery maybe higher capacity battery you have the option of moving this screw which acts as a pin kind of a hinge pin up to a higher uh, higher hole here which will actually uh, make this close in a little higher position and you'll be able to fit a thicker battery inside as mentioned before 7.4 volts on this one 650 milliamp per hour uh, this these are 14 500 uh, cells pretty much double a is a little bit shorter than a double a uh, and um, decent batteries very stable as far as if you're comparing these to lipo so I think that's kind of why high boxing is tending to go with these uh, more so uh, this has a balanced plug on it for charging uh, you can use a hobby grade charger to a hobby charger to uh, charge this battery as well for a little quicker charge so let's go ahead and get this uh, fin put on here guys pretty simple to do you can see we have four holes on the back here uh, two of which we're going to be using screws into um, and the other two are just basically uh, kind of uh, pins set pins on here so you can get it in position so basically we're just going to set it up there and we'll get our uh, hardware out our screws hopefully I don't lose these in the wind it's getting windy out here so set this aside for now and with our included screwdriver uh, we can go ahead and start uh, one of these in set it in place here
So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hey guys, if you haven't already subscribed, I really appreciate you considering that. It helps me out a lot. It doesn't cost you a penny. Thank you all for stopping by. We'll see you all in the next one. God bless the Republic.